Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Estramilitarum Tempestus Scions 5-man squad. If you've been making heaps of Cadian shock troops, uh, these are a bit of an evolution on those. They are very, very detailed models, uh, quite uh, beautiful to look at. Um, but it does mean they're a bit more fragile and there's a bit more assembly required. Um, so this video is a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Well, it's obviously going to have to start by taking the models out of the, um, the frames. Um, you can see I've got like a little production line set up for the five bases. And the most important thing here is to make sure you match up relevant legs, feet, uh, and also weapons um, as per the instructions because they all have specific fits. If you don't, it will have real issues. Um, as I said before, part of these are very fragile. The most fragile part actually is the antenna uh, on their, uh, their armor. So the way to prevent them snapping off when you remove them from the frame is as per you can see on my left thumb, I'm applying pressure up against the, uh, the model to ensure that when I cut away the other parts, no pressure is put on the antenna. Having done a few of these, I've bent and snapped quite a few. And then when you remove the mold lines, uh, be very gentle again on the antenna. You can see here I'm resting up against uh, my thumb. And also if you do use, uh, which you will have for the sergeant and also any special weapon troopers, um, they won't need the cabling hanging off the back of the, uh, the backpack or the rucksack. So remove it with a pair of uh, pliers and then use your hobby knife and a file to clean it up. And lastly, uh, always try to, when you can, uh, to drill out the barrels. I don't do the uh, hotshot um, las guns, but I always do the plasma guns um, or uh, melter guns as well. And you can see they managed to get it quite in the middle. Right, so now I've got the um, assembly process, step-by-step um, -step guide. It's sped up twice. Um, so what I'll do is just let this run um, for you now uh, to watch how I assemble. And I might drop in and out as I discuss certain areas which are a bit more uh, challenging to work with. Uh, so until I talk to you next time, just enjoy the, uh, the build.
Right, so me again, hopefully you've been enjoying that uh, license-free orchestral music. Uh, but certainly what I'm starting to work on now is probably the most challenging part uh, for these models. It's actually uh, doing the uh, hotshot uh, laser guns. Because of um, the sort of charging cables that hang off, you do have to basically make sure that they will marry up with the cables that hang off their rucksacks. So the way I do it, as you can see here, is I assemble the, uh, the right arm first. Um, and this is where it's so important that you actually have the right pieces uh, to the corresponding um, gun. If you don't, it simply won't work. Uh, I think an error for me on this slide is the understanding which of the ones I um, I chosen because they are quite unique. Um, and you'll see later I've got one of the chaps with his last gun held up quite high, which is which is fine because it's the way it's meant to be, but it's probably not the look I'm going for. Um, so as you can see there, I've assembled the uh, the right arm which holds the last gun, and then um, I'm putting on the backpacks now. Right, so you can see now that I'm um, actually gluing on the uh, the arms uh, with the hotshot um, las guns, and it was a bit of a, a moment of truth for me because uh, I was quite worried they weren't going to marry up. But actually, if you get the rucksack put on flush, nice and neat to his back, and if assembled the uh, the right arm correctly, that should fit very well. Uh, that first one was a perfect fit. I'm pretty sure this second one is another perfect fit. I think it's only the third one that I do. Uh, which is a bit of an issue. But this guy here, you can see, he's holding the last gun up quite high, almost at like um, high port, uh, which isn't probably what I was looking for. Um, so do have the confidence here uh, to both be gluing um, the arm and also the charging cable, um, because actually, well, I mean, this is pretty much almost perfect, except for my fumbling. Uh, they are very well made kits, so they do fit quite well.
Rightio, so all finished. Well done. Uh, they're not easy to build compared to uh, Caddy and Shock Troop. So um, congratulations for finishing your uh, five-man squad. Uh, hopefully it was helpful. Um, you can see it's by no means easy. Uh, as I said before, the hardest part will be um, getting the charging cables to marry up. Uh, and I know I said I don't like the guy with the high port on the left there. These guys can held up high, but I think they look absolutely awesome. Uh, they're very different to us. And a guardsman, it's definitely worth the effort. Uh, so any questions, please ask in the comments. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, like and subscribe uh, for more videos as I show you how to assemble, paint and play Ash Militarum in 1 40,000. Until next time, see ya.